welcome back to Lex Reads. So this is part three of Anna Karenina. You guys know clearly I'm doing my reading vlog. It's taking me forever because I keep on getting distracted with other books and I get in these kicks. Y'all know at one point I was obsessed with reading all Truman Capote books. Um, I kind of went through, well, I'm still going through a like romance kind of kick it looked like it's trying to creep in i am so ashamed to tell you guys how many books i have bought for the past ooh, a week or was it a week oh, y'all i think is this all of them these are all classics and i think i have more <laughs> um but granted i did get those for super cheap okay where do we leave off we left off where her husband alexia found out that you know she is having an affair with uh Vronsky and she told him and you remember she was like oh i don't like you i hate you <laughs> you scare me all of that and he was when i tell you he was such an he was in shock of how she said what she said you know about like her being scared and doesn't and doesn't like him and things like that he had an inkling of like her messing around with him but he couldn't like he said before i can't confirm it because i haven't you know haven't technically seen anything it's just what i feel and when i tell you they do not know how to carry on an affair because <sighs> I mean, y'all at a party and y'all looking at each other, talking and stuff like that. Like, that's not, there's no way, that's not a way to carry on an affair if y'all gonna do that, okay? But he knows now because she acted a fool at them racing uh, tracks when he almost got messed. Well, he did get messed up. He got like hurt and she was like the only one to scream and yell out. And it's like, why is you doing that when you got your man over here? But yeah, so part three, um, it starts with his thoughts, uh, the husband's thoughts, where he's like, you know, obviously he still, he still loves her in his his way, but his thing like, well, it's gonna be public, it's gonna be a scandal if I try to, you know, get a divorce and all of that. And his thing is the way it's going to look, okay? He, he doesn't, he knows it's gonna be a bad look on his part. And yeah, he thinks what other people is gonna think. But this statement I highlighted, he says, an attempt at divorce could only lead to a scandal court trial, which could be a godsend for his enemies, for the slandering and, and humiliation of his high position in society. Nor could the chief go to define the situation with his latest with, with his latest disturbance be achieved through divorce. Besides that, divorce or even an attempt to divorce implies that his wife had broken relations with her husband and joined with her lover. So he decides, I'm going to write her a letter saying like, basically, I forgive you, but there's some rules to what's going to happen. And basically the rules are like, obviously you can't see him anymore. And then just being like spiteful and bitter, which my thing is, he does have every right to feel what he's feeling because she stepped out on him. But I think i feel like i'm contradicting myself because i'm like well the way that he's doing it is kind of like come on bruh but at the same time it's like if i was in that situation and if you know like my wife cheated on me i would i would be beyond angry like angry is an understatement but what he does that i do not like is he knows that their son is like her heart she she loves that boy more than she loves him and he knows that everyone knows the love she has for her little boy he's using that against her and like you know i know you love our son i know you love you know your son and it's like come on bruh you know that part I, i'm having a hard time with that but at the same time i'm like but she did cheat after her husband left she told herself that she was glad that now everything would be definite and at least that would be no falsehood and deceit it seemed unquestionable to her that now her situation could be defined forever and then this, okay the same evening she saw Vronsky, but didn't tell him about what happened between her and her husband though to clarify the situation she ought to tell him okay yeah and she merely thought of what her husband was going to do the most the most terrible notion came to her it occurred to her that the account would now come to her out of her house that her disgrace would be announced to the whole world she asked herself where she would go and she was turned out of her house you imagine that 
he did not love her that she was already beginning to be a burden and all that okay, yeah so now she's feeling guilty clearly this is what she said about her son she says the domain the domain with her son whatever position she was in she could not abandon her son let her husband disgrace her and turn her out let Vronsky grow cool towards her and continue to lead his independent life again she thought of him with bitterness and she could not desert her son she had a goal in life also thinks too um which if you know she would leave her husband her son is going to take her husband's obviously going to take you know the, the son away and he will be able to do that they're going to give like custody to him so she knows that and she's like well maybe i should like just go ahead and do what you know he's saying because i cannot let you know him take my boy away yeah so right now that's where i'm at she's going to moscow to kind of you know clear her head a little bit and and i'm still like again you see i'm contradicting myself because i do feel sorry for her a little bit but at the same time I was like girl you put yourself in this situation and then I do feel for you know Alexia because it's like even though the way he treats his wife is kind of I don't know he treats his wife as like a, a project or like she's just a like a statue uh, she she knows that he really doesn't love her but it's a good look for him to have her on her you know his arm and they have a son and things like that that was one reason why she did step out which she had no reason to do that okay but at the same time it's like i do feel i you know i feel like he has every right to do what he's doing even though i don't like the way he's doing it especially when it comes to his son you know using it against her but yeah as you can see, again, I'm like up and down, up and down. And Varansky right now, I don't know what to think of him. It's just like, he just there. I mean, he has, there's nothing that, you know, he can't, he's not going to lose or gain anything, you know. He's not really going to lose anything. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think, has she told him that she's pregnant? Again, you know, these vlogs are going to be spoilers because I cannot talk to you guys and give you all the tea of how I feel without you know having some spoilers so i said that in the last uh portion i said that in the last vlog with part two but i don't think she's told him yet that she is knocked up by him which is a whole nother can of worms and that's another thing i'm feeling sorry for because it's like her head is all because i you know her hormones are probably just wired and you know going through this with her husband and then look with her lover and she got her son so yeah it's like i'm trying to feel sorry for her but again she put herself in this situation but yeah that is where i am at i am going to it's saturday so i'm gonna go shopping of course and i'm gonna come back to this because we don't have a lot left for part three part three looks like it's kind of short and all together again this is what eight parts so we're moving along again i'm taking my time with this because i keep on getting distracted but again i'm still loving every minute of this girl we got more tea from Vransk, uh from bronski first of all he don't have no money he is broke as a joke okay and he doesn't want to get his he doesn't want to ask his mother for some more money because in the letter it was basically like you need to get yourself together meaning you need to get married and you know i'll help you with that but like just shelling out money that's that's a no ma'am and he's like maybe i'm gonna go to a lender but then i told you guys we know that anna is now knocked up and she told him and he was like in the beginning a quick second was kind of happy then he realized oh well maybe that's not a good idea okay and he's rethinking his his he's rethinking it now so what did he say it said uh, just yesterday she had announced to him that she was pregnant and he felt that this news had indeed been caught unaware and in the first moment when she had announced her condition to him his heart had prompted him to demand that she leave her husband he had he had said it but now thinking it over he saw clearly that it would be better to do without that and yet in saying so to himself he was afraid might he was afraid might it not be a bad thing i said she might leave her husband it means to unite with me am i ready for that how can i take her away now when i have no money suppose i could arrange it but how can i take her away when i am in 
the surface he's a soldier if i say it then i have to be ready for it okay yeah, and then he going on some nonsense about when he was younger what he wanted and all that but it's like bro you and got yourself in a situation and really anna has gotten herself in the situation when you think well they both have gotten themselves in a situation but because of the times and days and all that and even in today's society when a woman gets pregnant it's you know it's the woman's problem it becomes a woman's problem so yeah uh, but I'm like, bruh, now you, <laughs> it, it's, look, it's the same. It's, they move in the same. When she tells them that she's pregnant, that relationship changes. And all of a sudden, oh, I don't want this anymore. It's like, bruh. But one thing she did say is if Ransky, if he, what is she, how did she put it? If his approach about me being pregnant if it's like good i'll be willing to leave and leave my son i'm like like uh-uh please don't be one of the mamas that leave the the baby now for a man yes are you happy yes and you love me yes so you guys i just want to tell you i watched the trailer for the Anna Karenina, the like recent one in 2012 with Kira Knightley. Now I've seen bits and pieces of that, but I haven't like finished the movie. But I wanted to see how they, um, um, who they picked and how he looks like for uh, Vronsky. And I don't know if he gives me Vronsky. Um, he has like the blonde hair. I see the the mustache because I know part three. He always like he always touching his mustache and like cur curling it and girl but i don't know if i get he yeah he not the way that i'm reading it that's not how i picture him and with kira knightley i think kira knightley is a cute uh woman but the way that they describe um anna she's like breathtaking and yeah no shade to Kira Knightley, because like I said, she's such a cute girl to me. But, and then also too, not even just the way that she looks, but I don't know. I would have picked somebody else for Anna, but I don't know who I would have picked. I'm trying to think, because she just doesn't give me Anna Karenina. Even though she plays a lot of those like period dramas. I'm curious who could be a good Anna Karenina. Huh. I'm going to have to think about that. Jude Law, I could see him as uh, the husband. I can see him as her husband. If you guys have read Anna Karenina or at least watched the movie, who do you think could have played Anna besides Kira Knightley? I'm really curious to know. So you guys, I'm gonna combine part three and part four together. Oh Lord, I look rough. I just came back from the gym, but I'm gonna combine those two parts together because part three was shorter. It was like 32 chapters. Um, as opposed to like 35 and it just seemed well technically it was shorter but like we didn't really get a lot of tea we just found out like you know um alexia knows about obviously the affair and he doesn't even know about the pregnancy yet it's not a lot of tea um but i do believe part four it's going to be because just the I didn't start it yet, but I mean, girl, like we get to the point where stuff is going to happen. And clearly I know he's going to have to find out that she's pregnant. And yeah, so I do think part four is going to be a little bit more juicier. Part two was juicier. Yeah, I am going to start part four today. My reaction to what I just read was just crazy. Anna, she's pregnant. And Alexia, um, and like she writes him talking about how, you know, she's dying, da, 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 da. So when he gets there, why does Anna have, look, Ransky, her baby daddy, her lover, and then her husband, also in the same room, just had the baby. And then I was thinking, because when you read it, it doesn't say anything about like, in that portion of him not knowing that that baby is not his. I thought he just thought, I thought he thought that baby was his, the little girl. He already knows that. But the cr thing for me is <laughs> with Anna, why in the world would you think that was a good idea? Why? 
I just don't get that. She, I, this, this book, this book ghetto. This book is so ghetto, okay? It is because, look, I'm just, this is giving me urban fiction right now. This is that, that scene right there. That was urban fiction. You got your lover and your baby daddy and your husband and then asking, oh, for forgiveness. Because at one point, you remember I was talking about him in the last um, reading vlog for Anna Karenina. I'm like, he didn't have to do her like that, talking about uh, Alexia, her husband. But then I thought about it like, no. Because I think what got me is, you know, she, he was using the baby, her son, to kind of get at, to get back at her. Like, you know, I'm taking this baby. And he, and he knew how much Anna loves that boy. Anna adores that son, okay? And I'm like, he shouldn't do that, which he shouldn't. But at the same time, can you imagine your spouse cheating on you? And then having a baby? Because I always say, if I would get in a relationship and if, my look if my man cheats on me i'm like look maybe we can go to counseling you know okay but if he cheat on me and have a baby i think i would be done and i know you can't blame the baby because again I, and i wouldn't even blame the baby i would blame him because my thing is you went out here messed around and got a baby on me no ma'am mm -mm. So when I'm thinking like that, I'm like, no, he does have a right to feel every type of way. Okay. And then he does realize too, like he finally, she doesn't want to be with him. And he knows that. That moment, especially after just having a baby and she's looking at Alexia and she's looking at, you know, Varansky. She's like, when she looks at Varansky, she's thinking this is not going to work out. You know, I'm a married woman. I'm already stable with uh with Alexia and you know Vransky he a little playboy you know which it looked like since she had the baby he do want to settle down da 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 because again he was going back and forth he was going like I don't know if this is a good idea oh I think I want to step back and then after she had the baby then he realized oh I want to be with her and then the crazy thing is she was like yeah I don't want to be with you and then she flip it around and it's like okay I do want to be with you it is yeah Anna has gotten on my nerves this whole entire book, okay? This whole entire book. And right now, I don't like nobody. I think the only person I like, I do like, what was uh, the girl in the beginning? Uh, Levin, not Levin. I do, oh, I love Levin. Yeah, I love Levin. And what is Anna's sister-in-law? I like her. I think it's Dolly. Yeah. So far, just Levin and Dolly is that uh, is who I am liking. But look, Anna and her brother, they got a problem because he cheated. And the way he did it was just crazy. Um, and then, like, she cheated. So, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm outdone with what Anna did. That is just, yeah. It's just some stuff you just don't do. Okay. And you just don't do that at all. You don't do that. You don't do that. Okay, you guys. So I am done with part four. I will be starting part five. And I think I'm going to be doing five and six together because there's eight parts. So yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to read five and six and then seven and eight to hurry up and get this done because I've been reading this since March. I need to hurry up. But okay. Part three, eh, really one no not a lot of tea part four it came with some tea afterwards but got me a, how you gonna have your lover and your husband sit together and oh you need to forgive him and all that and like vice versa no and then Baranski, uh, like just sitting there like a little girl putting his hands in the way to describe it putting his hands um in his uh face and looking down and crying then this man who just frustrated me so she tell him, uh, you know what? This ain't gonna work out. Um, I need my husband to forgive me and I'm ashamed what I did. And he like, seriously? Cause now he, now he's like, I think I can't be with you. Cause you know, in the beginning he was thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Now he realized oh, I love this woman. I want to be with this woman. And then I think after he saw that baby, he was like, yeah, let's start a family. She tell him, I need my husband's forgiveness. And no, no, no. 
this boy come home and tries to commit suicide, shoots himself in the stomach, but misses basically. So he telling people he accidentally shot himself and they're like, yeah, we just gonna go with that. But yeah, then Betsy, which is like his cousin, tells her she comes and visits the baby and stuff like that. Like, you know, you should maybe go and see him. And she's like, oh no. And Betsy like, you know, he just basically almost killed himself because of you. So then Alex, um, what's his name? Alexia hears that and he's like, I can't take this. You know what I mean? I'm just going to get a divorce. And, but he is thinking, you know, in the beginning he was thinking about, well, you know, if he get a, if she get, if we get a divorce, like I'm going to take the child away. And really it's going to be, she's going to be towed up because again, he's a man, he has status and then he's a man. So it's going to be like, whatever, she's going to be, you know, thrown to, you know, the wolves and going to be poor and all that. And then her status is going to be towed up. She's, you know, she messed up basically a woman that cheated and it's just horrible situation but he's like i'm just gonna give her a divorce that's just what she wants because again she's like she wants his forgiveness but she still doesn't love him and doesn't want to be with him but she realizes what am i gonna do and the fact that he is kind of willing to be like well i'll just take care of this baby as my own Varansky ends up finding out and then he's like well i can come to the house he comes to the house kissing on each other and all that this girl leave and goes abroad to Italy and does she take the baby? I don't know if she takes the baby, but she leave her son and goes with him. And that's how it part four ends. I'm like, oh, it's one of, another one of them women. Skip the baby. Uh, it's all about my man. I'm, you know, ooh, I'm like, are you serious, girl? It ended with a bang. Oh, I got a lot of questions that need to be answered. And I know that part five is going, you know, it's going to, it's going to happen. But also too, they can't get married because even though she's going to be divorced, you can't get married if your spouse is alive during that time. Like it's not biblical. So he would have to die in order for her to get married. But I'm like this girl and left her kid and went to Italy. <sighs> So that's all for part four. Like I said, in it with a bang. And I can't wait to read five and six. I'm gonna combine five and six cause yeah, I'm just, I gotta hurry up and get this over with cause my mind is, is a blown. I cannot believe Anna, but yeah guys, that's it for this portion of reading Anna Karenina. And I will see you guys back when I start part five.